slain detective, Charles Kinnear's widow, Nicolette, says she fears for her life after her security has been withdrawn. This is a day before her husband's murder trial begins. Nicolette has decried the manner in which her family's security was withdrawn, accusing the police of corruption. Now, the alleged gang leader, Nafiz Modak, and 12 co-accused are due to appear at the Cape High Court for the murder of her husband. Now, he was gunned down outside his house back in 2020. Let's talk now to Nicolette Kinnear. Mrs. Kinnear, good morning to you, and thank you very much for your time. It's got to be a very distressing time for your family. The security being pulled, were you told in advance? If not, why do you think that the police have, cho have chosen to take this approach? Look, I received a visit about, I think it was about two weeks ago from General Beaton. And we informed me that they intend um, withdrawing um, the guarding. Um, I then asked, um, because obviously that instruction came from the provincial commissioner, I asked for the instruction in writing. Um, I was told that I would receive it later on, only for General Beaton to message me and tell me. Um, and then they initially told me the 26th, which was Friday. Hmm. Um, Friday, as per normal, the members arrived for work. Saturday, as per normal, the members arrived for work. Sunday, as per normal, the members arrived for work. And 8 o'clock, a captain came to them and said, on instruction of Bishop Labour Station Commander, Brigadier Makia, they've been instructed to um, withdraw immediately. So my problem there is that um, when the members phoned their commander, who's, a, who's the colonel's, the colonels weren't even aware of this. So, um, and and I communicated to the brigadier, um, like, why was protocol not followed? Why send a captain and not the, um, the colonels? Yeah. But be that as it may, in the past, I've had risk assessments done in the province, um, as well as um, on national level. Um, this was done like a year apart. Um, both parties who did my risk assessment is implicated in the IPAD report. So how can people who are implicated in, my, in the IPAD report firstly do my risk assessment? Because I think you and I both know what they're going to say. Yeah. Um, the, the other problem that I had with the risk assessment is that here we've got documents done in different provinces by different generals but it's verbatim almost the same. Um, so who's trying to fool who here? I also know, or everybody knows, that I've opened up the culpable homicide docket, implicating everyone um, in, or, or the culpable homicide docket is against everyone implicated in the output report. Yeah. It has come out that the senior managers, obviously that has been mentioned in the report, so is this a means of intim intimidation? Are they trying to bully me, trying to scare me? Um, because I'm not going anywhere and that culpable homicide docket is not going anywhere. Yeah. Um, if, I need to, if I need to go that route to get the senior management exposed, then that is what I'm going to do. But I'm not going to tolerate being intimidated or bullied. Mrs. Um, Kinnear? We are... I'm sorry to interrupt you, uh, just no. because of time. You have mentioned the IPID report for South Africans who may have forgotten what that said. Yes, it was a classified report that investigated uh, the circumstances that led to your husband being murdered. And its details, though, or the contents of that report came out uh, pointing to multiple failures at senior police level. Now, you are saying that part of the people that are responsible for assessing your security were implicated in that very report. When you are now are faced with this, because you do intimate in your statement that you think that this has to do with them preventing you from coming to court, why is it that 
it is in their interest that you're not able to attend court? I think it's not necessarily not to attend court. It's more to do with not having to go forward in pushing for the culpable homicide docket. And just to just to be corrected, the initial IPAD report was claimed to be classified from day one, but it couldn't be because it was discussed with me. And also just for the record, I opened up the culpable homicide docket on the 5th of August. The 23rd of August, all of a sudden at the portfolio committee, there was a, a message from the speaker to say that this document is now classified. So I'm led to believe that the fact the culpable homicide docket plays a very grave role here, because obviously, even though SAPS departmentally hasn't charged anyone yet or refuses to charge anyone with the culpable homicide, it's criminal. So it doesn't matter who you are, um, if you will be charged. Mrs. Kinnear, final question to you, and very briefly, if you can. Going back to the assessments that were made, you said several of them have been carried out. How vulnerable is your family still to those that may want to do what they did to your husband? And how are your children feeling at this point? My children are paranoid. My children are afraid, obviously, because it's no secret that their dad was investigating um, police officers. It's also no secret that our investigation and over the past three years and what we have uncovered, as I've mentioned, the culpable homicide docket, um, we also know that some of the accused appearing here today, um, it has been testified way back even in 2018, the strong links that they have with some generals within this province. So it's no secret. So... Um, and, and that is basically where we are, that, that I think people are using their ranks and their stars and their stripes to try and intimidate. So that's the difference. I mean, like I said, as early, way back with the extortion case with, with Nafis Modak, um, there was testified um, calls that were made and it was, and it was for, by forensic people to testify who we contacted. Um, so the generals within the province are well aware who they are. And these generals are also in position to pull certain strings, like, for example, to have my guardian removed. Nicolette Kinnear, let me thank you very much for your time and uh, wish you strength at a time like this. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank Nicolette. you very much. Nicolette Kinnear is uh, the wife of the slain detective, Charles Kinnear.